Okay, all that pulling and, and yeah. 18 inch waist. I wouldn't waist. know. I wouldn't I know but know. I didn't know this. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, among its many proud claims, Portsmouth had more people working in the corset industry than in shipyards. Incredible, isn't it? And now the world of whalebone is making a comeback with a traditional corset making firm having to expand into new premises. And if that wasn't enough, Ann Summers has brought up a, bought up a bra factory <laughs> in the city to support its expansion plans. Our Portsmouth reporter Jackie Copestake has been to find out why corsets are expanding in Pompey. <laughs> was once big business in Portsmouth. Ian Boller's family firm's been making them for 99 years. Such is the demand, he's tied up old ends and has moved to a new factory. I think it was the whole character of the place, really, and thinking going back to that you knew that the great-grandparents started there, then the grandparents, then the, then the up-to-date Mr. Boller now. And it just had a lot of family tie about it. These are the designs first made by the company. Vollers are still using these patterns, even if they are somewhat raunchier. Vollers' corsets have been used in Pride and Prejudice and the Hollywood blockbuster Interview with a Vampire, but the company has a large customer base. We get loads of people come in and buy corsets, get married in. We don't just make the corsets we made when the, when the factory was uh, first invented, which we uh, do Ethels, they call them, which are long corsets. Now we make um, more stylish corsets. Our grandmothers may have turned in their graves to see underwear becoming fashion garments. But it's big business. So much so, Anne Summers, the queen of risque underwear, has moved into the city. She's recently bought bra manufacturer Charles Murphy in Stamshaw from the receivers. It has 140 staff. I think Portsmouth gave this particular appeal because of its history of um, being involved in corsetry, which obviously adds credibility to the company that we purchase. But the corset industry as a whole is unlikely to return to its former prominence. There was a period at the beginning of the century when it was so large that it was almost supporting the whole of Portsmouth because of the number of people employed in it, women employed in it mostly. But its history will be kept alive into the next millennium. Jackie Copestake, BBC South Today in Portsmouth.